by your side. Hell yeah. It's fi finally happening, D1. Finally happening. And we got top eight of doubles action in Ultimate as well. And I'm pretty yeah, excited. To hype. Yeah, it's actually pretty exciting seeing the stuff that we have here today. A plethora of characters here on the screen. We see a combination Ooh. of actually Captain Zack and Ally right here versus 8-Bit Man and Yeti. And it's pretty interesting, you know, seeing how Bayonetta and Snake. Bayonetta definitely a character that does a good job of racking up a lot of quick damage. Right. Um, where, uh, a lot of damage. Won't say quick because, the, the, the you know, there's some animations you got to wait for when for you sure. see Bayonetta get those combos going. For sure. And then and I feel like Snake would be able to, like, really close out a lot of those stocks that uh, Bayonetta racks up the percentage in. So it might, be a, it might be a cool combo. But on the other end, we have Rob and Mega Man. Right. So both of these characters who excel at projectile zoning, and they have some really sick tools as well. Yeah. Even up close, as we've seen, you know, from Yeti, a player who has yet to ever lose a, a tournament in his very own region oh my god that's yeah. quite a stat yo and right now already showing us what it is sick perfect show right there ally a little bit late right there on the tech chase but you see captain zach trying to pick up all the slack right there with the, the with the witch time just trying to get some damage going yeah i got the force smash got mm -hmm. the force smash too not quite the ko but still looking pretty good but um, yeah, o yeah overall i think it's going to be interesting just seeing how this plays out of course guys when the winners quarters right here yeah um so yeah we have a lot of battles that are going to be happening here on this on this broadcast already just ringing out with those gunshots is captain zach which can actually be a good tool to just keep the opponent in place right oh, if you sure. lock them that with the gunshots either they're blocking it or ducking it it makes it easier for you, the other teammate to get things started so yeah, yeah anyway great job right there by ally though with the c4 catching yeti unawares for sure for sure I, li I like the team comp so far it feels like there's a little bit more synergy between the snake and bayonetta just because one can like kind of close in and the other one can uh get the KO potential, whereas Rob and, and Mega Man are kind of playing like a very heavy projectile game as you're seeing right now. Like Mega Man is actually the one that's going in, and then Rob is kind of keeping center stage. And I think it's a good strategy because- it's not bad. I'll yeah. tell you right now, you look at Rob, Rob is a character that has some pretty good KO tools as well. For his sure. His up smash can KO, he has um, another KO, uh, well all his smashes can KO, his side B is side B. quite potent, Dog, and you could use it even B. off stage yeah. to just like get yourself closer to the blast zone and get rid of the opponent. But I'm looking at right now, seeing 8-Bitman go for that, that down air already puts in my head the fact that Ooh. Allen's going to have to be careful if he's off stage. Yeah. Bayonetta not so much. Ooh. By the way, the double kills right here, Darn. the up smashes. The Rob is going in right now. This robot cannot be stopped. You definitely can't, man. 8-Bit Man, he was so exciting to see when it came to actually Smash uh, Bros Ultimate. And now, I mean not Ultimate, but Smash 4. Mm -hmm. And now we see that he's still sticking with the character who is quite potent still in this game. Yeah, Rob, Rob is really solid in this game, man. Big fan of what he's able to bring to the table. And here come the combos. And you know what's good about these combos right now by Captain Zack? Can't necessarily KO the opponent off the top because of the up air not having the greatest vertical knockback. Right. But you keep a, a, a teammate out of play. Right. So as, soon, as long as you trust your teammate to do their one-on-one -on -one very well, you're racking up percent on Rob or whoever you're comboing as Bayonetta. Yeah. And, and if your teammate is doing the one-on-one -on -one well, that's that's a good recipe for teams, man. Exactly. Especially for players like Captain Zack and Ally, which are very strong in the singles realm. They should be able to handle their one-on-ones really well versus people like Ava and Yeti, you know? Yep, and this looks like a bit of a tough scenario, but if you look at right. Yeti's percentage, yeah. not quite the worst situation to be in. He just has to find a way to get a KO on one of the teammates. Snake probably harder because of the fact that he's so heavy, Right. but Bayonetta, it might be more likely. And there it is, trying to go for a grab, but you see the immediate jumping there, right there from oh. Captain Zack, not making it easy, and 78 right now on Yeti, it's getting way more difficult to mount this comeback. Yeah, 97% off stage as well, and Bayonetta gets the KO right at the end there. Snake basically took no percent during that last uh, two-on-one scenario. Basically, like, you know that he's going to go for Snake, because he's at 150%, 157%, you want to get the KO, so they kind of use that to their advantage while keeping Snake defensive, and Bayonetta just going in. And that worked out really well. They basically took very little damage, and that Mega Man was KO'd. Yeah, I'm very impressed with what, yeah. uh, what I got to see from those guys right yeah. there. The fact that you saw Captain Zack actually manage to cut off Yeti yeah. with that well-timed back air before Yeti was even able to grab the edge. I have to say, man, that team was doing really good, but things did fall apart the moment we saw Ape Man leave right. the field. Like, those guys... Even though they were at over 100%, right. it looks like the game plan never changed. They're like, all right, we're going to support each other, and we're going to find this W. A For lot sure. of times, people get really defensive when it comes to teams, mm -hmm. and it makes more openings for the guy who's by himself, right? It's like, all right, if yeah. one of you guys are, are going to be too obvious yeah. with, um, your, uh, with your defense, mm -hmm. I'm going to just open you up and find a way to get the KO. But here it is. 
Yeah. Um, Kevin Zach and Ally up a game, and we're back on Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, yeah. Nice nice amount of space here, so it'll, it'll work out well for for, for Aben and Yeti. I mean, overall, it didn't seem like the stage was really too much to blame as to why they lost that particular game. It just felt like they were actually very close. Like, that, that last situation was very, very close. It was a close two stock with both players over 100%. So... I think if they just uh, threaten a little bit more while keeping center stage, it could work out really well. Like right here, they're split up quite a bit, and they have to do their one-on-ones. And that may not go so well, because Captain Zack's combo game is so strong when he gets the one-on-one -on, -one on either player, honestly. It's true, man. Like, regardless of the fact that this character did get nerfed, you yeah. see Captain Zack is just playing like it's any other day, dude. Yeah, and I think like some of the limitations that Bayonetta might have in singles, where you can't get the KOs as strong as you would in uh, Smash 4, it's kind of mitigated because you got Snake on the on the back leg just ready to get the KO if uh, he's able to with the up tilt going on. Precisely, but here it is, Yeti. I have to say that Ooh. systematic destruction of the stock was so beautiful. Ooh. Just cat, just making sure to keep Captain Zack cut off. But Captain Zack, you see all this space he's taking with yeah. his myriad of smash attacks. I like that sneaking in the grab on Ape Man, trying to pursue off stage. Right. And you see, like, uh, Ape Man decided to just go for that super high recovery. But while that's happening, that allowed Ally to just take get, get rid of the Yeti stock. Yeah, yeah. He was uh, uncontested with that edge guard there exactly. on the right side. That's a big deal, man. Being able to distract one opponent and uh, get an edge guard situation or a combo is going to be very pivotal in this kind of team battle. I agree. I think it's a really solid strategy. And right here, we have Kevin Zack who's just trying to Continue to carry opponents off stage, keep them out of play. Yeah. As ha so far, I mean, like you said, trust. Yeah. Trust is a very big thing, right? For when you sure. look at teams, you always want to be fully confident that your teammate is able to actually pull his own weight. Yeah. If you have a teammate where you're playing with them and they necessarily won't be able to pick up the slack, then it's like, oh man, even though I did this pass, I'm not necessarily sure if he's able right. able to even convert. You know what? Maybe right. I'll just pass to myself. I'll right. go for an up throw or a down throw into a follow up. Yeah, you know? ha having that doubt in teams is actually really uh, bad. Yeah, yeah it, it actually fun. adds up to a lot of damage because then, like you're saying, you know, you doubt yourself and then you, you hesitate just a little bit on whether I should throw to him or throw to myself or combo off myself. But we don't really see that. Uh, play out too much of this in this team's battle. True. They're right. both they're both oh my god and what a what a KO from the Mega Man. Yes, that was so smart right there and Yeti oh. managing to just like trip up Captain Zack with that lead blade at the edge. And now we actually have a totally different situation here. Yeah, four stocks to one. Wow, the turnaround here from these two guys, and here it is Yeti with the with the pressure. Tries to get that jump cancel and yeah. Captain Zack is out of there. Yeah. Alright, so now Looking at this, uh, uh, what's going on here? Leaf shield, oh, oh! The projectiles, everything's coming out! Yeah, man. Oh my god. Bats yeah. within, trying to get him out the combo just a little bit. And I like that you see Yeti just basically keeping it busy. He's like, yeah, you could keep pursuing 8-bit man, but end oh. of day, oh my god, Captain Zack! Alright. I mean, yeah, he still managed to get the stock. Oh, at low percent, too, it was like 70 yeah. percent that 8-bit man got KO'd uh, with. He basically got, like, state spike right there. Right, right. Not going down without a fight, but this is still looking like a very tough battle for Captain Zack to win. Oh, yeah. And this is best of five, so... Oh! Did he combo off a of Rob? Oh, my God, this Mega Man. That was crazy, too. We saw him, like, he threw the Metal Blade down, too. Yeah. And then got that... Uh, that, that he, oh, I don't even know what they call that. Flare Blade? Fire Sword? Fire Sword? I'm going to just call it forward air. So Mega Man's forward air right there. <laughs> yeah, he just got the sick follow-up off of that, and, and yeah. there you have it, like, getting the KO. And now it's one and one between these two guys again. Yeah. A three out of five scenario. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Three out of five does give you a little bit of wiggle room, more stages to play on and whatnot. It's true. But again, I feel like the difference between the first game and the second game really didn't have too much to do because it was, it's been stadium every single time, yeah. right? And I feel like the players also agree since they're going back to stadium for a third game, mm -hmm. perhaps. Okay, Town and City. I city. like it. I like it. Town like City it. definitely has some really, really sick music, and uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan <laughs> of overall. Yeah, it's a good stage. Let me see what we have here. So all the same characters. Sticking with the same characters. Right. Town and City actually having higher blast zones now in this game, which is crazy because it was a common counter pick if you wanted to KO the people off the top easier. And actually, there was a um, a good amount of KOs that, in particular, Mega Man got off the top, so maybe they want to mitigate some of those KO potential and just go off the side. Alright, here it is. We have Captain Zack again with Ooh. the setups. He gets the same spike on Yeti, but Yeti makes sure to conserve his jump. Right. Very smart. Uh-oh, but the rush, the double jump too. Smart recovery, but on the other side, what we have happening here is it's Ally versus uh, what we have um, 8-Bit Man. And right. I love the mix-ups with the pressure. Using that down air. No lag upon landing, so you could actually drift in yeah. front or behind your opponent to trip him up. 
right. And there's a little bit more of horizontal space in this uh, particular map, so I feel like they can do their one-on-ones a little bit better. I'm a fan. And it feels like that might favor Captain Zack and Alan, or that's the that's where they're comfortable at the very least. So yeah. they're trying to have more of those situations play out. Ooh, Ooh and right there, Captain Zack taking that first stock, unfortunately, on his opponent. Right. A teammate, rather. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right. Oh my god, the forward smash. Okay. Yeah, and it's such a, I, what I love about that move is, of course, just the fact that it's a big hitbox, right? Yes, right. there's some startup. Uh-oh, wait a second. Is he trying to bring it back to the old Captain school? Oh, Captain my God! Captain Zack! You know what? I oh. feel like it's necessary when you're about to get KO'd. It's like, okay. And now he's calling both of them? What? Okay, he, he had care. ally with him already. <laughs> he, he's like, these guys, I, I, as long as I lose my stock, yeah. and they lose theirs, who cares? That is a statement from yeah. Captain Zack. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And they're they're up in stock, so it's really not a bad trade to go out like that. And I like what you saw from Captain Zack there. Rob being such a tall target. Right. Why not go for those guns? Right. Man, Captain Zack is kind of controlling the pace of this this game three right now. Yeah, it's almost as if, he, regardless of the nerves, that the character is still out here, you know? Yeah. Okay, we finally have some aggression right there. Ape Man showing that, you know, he definitely is up to par. Don't doubt his ability. Oh, for sure. He's definitely got some combo game. Robin, in particular, definitely has yeah. the combo tools. Oh, the double oh. up smash! Yes. Ape Man definitely showing us what he's up Oh, right there, that jab. Looks like a bit of a mistake, oh. regardless. And Yeti with the parry. Yes. I like that. Okay, there's a down right there, Captain Zack. And unfortunately, right there, not be able to actually help his teammate. And I like that ally was ready to punish the up smash, up smash right there by Ape Man. Right. Ape Man's trying to still, still see if he can come back on stage right here. Yeah. High recovery. Yeah. Okay. It's always a good idea right there, you know. You give your teammate enough time to come through and try to save you when you go for high recoveries too. Right, right, right. And then you kind of have this push and pull whether you want to like go for the um, the edge guard completely or you want to go and rescue your ally. Yeah. Typically, it's better to rescue your ally because you you have faith in your your homie stocks. Exactly. Oh, and Yeti. Oh. Okay. The chase, but right there you see Captain Zack like discouraging that using the witch twist. Right. Oh, and this is gonna be some big damage. Uh huh. Pulling back right now. Try to hold the stage. You see that neutral air wow. forcing Yeti underneath. But he does have the air dash to come back on. Nice, nice. That's gonna be a big hit. Okay, he gets the confirmation. Oh, yeah. Not the, quite. The boy's heavy. Yeah. This is looking pretty difficult when he gets the up tilt to get the KO. Just when we talked about the boy being heavy. Yeah. Like, Snake doesn't care about that. He's like, dude, no. my hip hop, my, uh, the, the knockback growth that I have on my up tilt is so ridiculous. Do you wanna see? And then he just does it. That, sh that hurts. Yeah. That it, up tilt it, hurts. It, it that stuff definitely hurts. Here we go. <laughs> that hurts, man. Oh, my We're about goodness. to go, go to a game four situation right here between... 2-1? Yeah, 2-1 right here with these guys. Crazy. I like the back and forth that's happening, even amidst the set. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, honestly, like, it, it, because of the fact that there's so much back and forth between these guys, right. it's hard to even know how things will transpire. But right now, we're going to the character select screen. Are we going to have different characters? I imagine they'd stay the same. I imagine this is not Oh, they're they're calling over a TO uh -oh. to to discuss how the counter picking is gonna work. Can they go back to Pokemon Stadium 2, I think, is the question. Ah, uh, because of uh, uh the, is there DSR, isn't right. there DSR, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Right, 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 exactly, exactly. But uh looks like all the same characters at the very least. Okay. And they are going to Smashville. Smashville? Yeah. Alright. Game four. Looks Good. like uh, Dave Stupid rule is in effect, so they cannot go back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay. Last yeah. stage they went on. Right, right. Oh my god, I love this song, but I can't even hear it right now. Nah, you can't uh, hear it, man. In any event, here it is. Captain Zack and Ally versus Ape Man, Man and Yeti. Yeah. And we're going straight into it. You see Captain Zack, he's already just trying to assume you know, that stage dominance. Again, sure. keeping his teammate busy. We saw a C4 drop. Uh oh. Right there. Uh oh. Explosion. Captain Zack going all the way to the top with the Rob. A lot of good percent, though. And Ally is uh, crazy. He's like, let me go try to help out my teammate with that up air. He yeah. literally double jumped as if Yeti is just not there. That's one of my favorite kind of C4 edge guards. When you drop that, uh, drop that joint off stage, and it just catches your opponent as they're trying to like do a safe like recovery right, back up. Right, right, nope. right. It's like I got a present for you. Yeah, covers a lot of space. Okay. Oh. Okay. Right now we see. Oh, the yeah. footstool. Yes, sir. There's the forward air. Uh, so the, a lot of neutral air attempts right now by 8 Man, but they're kind of getting interrupted. It's a little bit difficult for him to get his thing started. Right, yeah, he's trying to control a lot of space with those neutral airs, but 
Cap and Zack is just out here, dude. So many combos, so many conversions, covering a lot of space. All right, all right, oh, all right, all right. Oh, wait. Ally, Ally's going way wait. out there. I, I can actually hear some stuff. I'm hearing a little bit of gameplay. I'm hype. All right, there it is. This is all I need. <laughs> you need, you I need a little bit of music? I, I, need, I need the music. I need the gameplay. It's, it's still a little faint, but uh, once I hear enough of it, I'm going to get excited. <laughs> uh, and to be honest, the hits, the music, that's all I need, man. Oh, man, hearing, hearing the KOs in this game, so satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Whenever it's quiet, it's so hard to get hyped. But here it is right now, Captain Zack. Okay. Still has all of his stocks along with Yeti. Yeah. I like whenever um, Aben Man's getting comboed, Yeti's just right around his area to like kind of threaten his presence so that Captain Zack and Ally don't get anything else started. Yeah. He's like always following Aben Man, and I like that. It's good support. Very solid support. Gets the up tilt, not quite the KO. Yeah. Okay. Getting ready, trying to see if he can get those high recoveries. Oh, the up air! Way up there, all the way off the top. 8 bit man. Yes, sir. 8 bit man is such a sick player. Gets the tech, though. Yeah. He's not trying to drop anytime soon. Yeah. Even in stocks. And 8 bit man is playing a little bit defensive, staying on the ledge because he does have like 118%, so it yep. makes a lot of sense. A lot of faith in Yeti's play, and Yeti's doing a pretty good job on the onstage play. Oh, but he runs out of gas. He could take his teammate's stock, though. He has to. He has to. You don't want to be stuck in the two-on two-on-one position. Nice. Getting the pressure going. We have a lot of members of the blue team on the right side of the stage. Opportunity for 8-Bit Man to lock him there. Okay. A lot of percent on Yeti right now. Good up smash, but it's Snake we're talking about. You're not going to get a KO that soon. Not quite. Oh. Okay, he's trying to see out. Good stuff, Ape Man. Wants oh. to squeeze in the back here. Yeti with the combo off the top. I love that. Uh oh, off the top. But Bass with it. Coming to Captain Zack's rescue here. Right. Drifting to the right is Captain Zack. You see, Ape Man goes for the fourth throw. Doesn't even want to go for the down throw burial as right. it's teams. And he doesn't want to be left out wide open. No. Oh, and he gets the up air, and that's it for Yeti stock. It's what? all up to 8 bit man now. We're at 54%. Almost got a spike on Captain Zack, but he's still trying to keep it going. Right. Okay. Hey, but man, he still wants to keep it alive for the team. He can't give up yet. And Captain Zack still going in. Yo! He was going in even though he had the higher percent. But yeah, man, this is it. Hey, it's time to shine. It is really he, is. Is he going to be able to get it? 106% right here. Putting out the projectiles. Trying to right. whittle down the shield oh, from Snake. But Snake now has it. Okay. Shield is still getting a little smaller. I hey. Dude, the, the neutral layers from from Ape Man, super solid. Uh oh, look at the spacing. Nice. Yes. I love the narrative oh, shield. He, he pops the him up. He gets the upper. He gets the jump Oh, he doesn't need to Multi hit on shield. I think he's stucky him. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh and he it's rolled on, into it. And it's on Snake now. It's all on Snake. 150% underneath. Oh my god. Now? 8 bit man is mounting a serious comeback. What a neutral air. He's been really solid with those neutralized drifting and drifting oh! at Oh! Ally. 